Alrighty, folks. A uh, little bit of an extra day. Uh, pretty much just finished getting the cooling pump relay and so on wired up here just so we can run it properly. I've also installed a bleeding loop uh, in the cooling system. And we're currently uh, getting the air out of our cooling system. Also cured the leak over there by fitting a proper Jubilee clip. Um, so I'm going to tape up some wires here and uh, yeah, then we're kind of pretty much ready to go. So we can uh, do a little bit of driving around now. We have a working cooling system. So, all right, let's do it. Alrighty, folks. Uh, we are in the yacht here and we're uh, attempting to do some tuning. And uh, things are not looking good at the minute. Uh, basically, I can't get more than about 30 battery amps to go into the inverter. Um, and what's happening is, it is actually giving me very high motor amps um, for that. I thought at first, might have had a current sensor calibration issue. Um, so for example, here on my computer, we were reading a peak of uh, probably about 300 amps RMS on the phases. And I put my clamp meter on peak uh, capture here. We had 294 amps RMS, so I think we're pretty much okay on current sensor calibration. Um, so I'm going to show you guys pretty much uh, what happens here. So uh, let me just, I'm just going to go and plot um, the peak currents now instead. Uh, I do have the current limit set, but it's set at about 500 amps, like which for this motor should have me rocketing down the the road um, but I pretty much got myself I uh, hate to say it but I got myself a bit of a golf cart yacht here so I need to try and figure out um, what's going on now the other strange thing is that uh, the motor seems to not be sure which way it wants to turn which is weird um, so let's just do a plot there of current start plot. Oh, I'm going to have to re no, can I go? Oh, of course my, one thing I don't like about the BMWs is you can't turn the key to start after you've turned the key to start. So I got to just do a, just a quick flick. There we go, we're on now. So I should be able to just restart that plot hopefully. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So, let's just go. I'm just going to select second gear. We're on a little bit of a downhill here. So I'm going to show you guys battery current here. Now, I'm actually pulling away pretty well there. But when I, you know, we're going down a hill, so I go on a bit of throttle. Get to about 30 amps. Oh, okay, she's making a bit of a liar out of me now. Um, so I'm back on the throttle. I mean, I'm trying to accelerate now, and I've tripped out, and uh, yeah, you can see we got to some 400 amp peaks. I've got manual brakes at the minute, because I don't have the brake pump uh, rigged up, but I got to about 400 amps there, and the car really felt sluggish. Um, so, not quite sure what's going on here. Um, so yeah, this is the joys of tuning unknown motors. Um, that's kind of one of these things that, you know, happens. Uh, I've played around with the usual suspects here. I've had F-slip. I've got F-slip min at 0.6, F-slip max at 2.5 at the minute. That seems to be the best of a bad lot. Um, I've had them much lower. I've had them much higher. Um, doesn't seem to make any real... Uh, difference to you know being able to put some power in here um, but uh, yeah that's kind of what we got folks um, so we have a car moving that's kind of a good thing but we got to get some power into her and I'm pretty sure uh, 
you know, I'm pretty sure that we will. It's just like it's another one of these tuning nightmares. Um, so, okay. Um, sorry, I can't, you know, be bringing better news on such a nice, fine, sunny day, thankfully, after two weeks of constant rain. All right, so this is me just driving along the straight here now. Uh, I got about, you know, 10 or 15 amps going in. Now I'm coming up on a little bit of a hill. Uh, we're trying to, you know, just accelerate the car. I push the throttle. I can get up to about 30 or 35 amps. Um, but no matter what I do now, the car won't draw more than this. Um, and there's a bit of a hill coming on here now. And we're just gonna come, you know, we're gonna really struggle to come up this hill. Um, this is just second gear. Um, I'm pushing the throttle here. I'm just really struggling to climb the hill here, folks. So this is kind of what we got at the minute. Yeah, just no real power in here. Um, but uh, the car is, you know, it, it's really coming along well for me apart from this tuning thing. Uh, the steering is so much nicer now with the Zephyra pump in there. I've got to wire up my vacuum pump. The problem that I'm having with that is that uh, I, I've got it all done. I've got the, I've got a relay in there, the whole lot, but the signal from the the light control module which gets its signal from the brake uh, pedal switch is sufficient to run the inverter but not to run the relay coil so I've got to put either a solid state re relay or put a transistor in there to trip the um, to trip a normal automotive relay on just to uh, to do that now the other thing cooling systems working away fine we're gonna get the Tesla charger fired up now pretty soon but um, it's getting near Christmas and I'm pretty much beat so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take a bit of a rest um, see what I can think of regarding the tuning stuff here but so hopefully when I'm back with the yacht we'll be uh, you know get back out on the road and uh, be able to drive properly so, until then, folks, uh, if I don't get to you before Christmas, uh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check the links in the description for my usual bits and bobs. And uh, until then, well, happy motor tuning. <laughs> <laughs>